everyone, this is Surix Gaming, back with another episode of the Overlord playthrough. Last time we got the crane and started rebuilding the tower. Uh, just really quickly before we get going, let's check out the dungeon that we unlocked. The dungeon is where if you can find pretty the much anything. practice your combat skills, sire, then this is the place to do it. The tower can recreate many of the enemies you've conquered, so you can kill them again at your leisure. We're probably not going to do this right now, um, but yeah, in the tower, uh, sorry, in the dungeon, in the tower, pretty much anything you've killed along the way, you can just fight it again. You, you get life force from it, that's pretty much it. Other than that, it's just a fun side activity, a bit of a mini game. Okay, let's get back down to Mellow Hills and check out the town of Spree. The audio on this video might sound a bit different. Um, I've reconfigured the microphone, got it working a bit better. So let me know if this is better than the last two episodes. Okay, let's check out the town of Spree. After we freed their slaves. You've saved us! Our boys are safely home! Oh, a fine job, my lord! Oh, never doubted you for a second. We were just having a little fun with you earlier. No offense, eh? <laughs> have your fellas move our barrier, then go and have a tanker or two at the Happy Mule. <laughs> it's off it. Oh, don't mind if I do. Ah, <gasps> oh, it's nice to see folks enjoying themselves for a change. Quite a wild bunch, aren't they? Back home in Ruboria, I'm called Archibald Damius Methuselah Wobbleboard III. But folks around here just call me Archie. We've had some tough times. The halflings have ransacked most of the farms and everyone's turned up in spree on my doorstep. They voted me mayor. I got the drinks, yeah, but no food to feed them. Look, they voted I me really mayor. need some... Valiant Knights to get us back the food the halflings stole from us. Their village lies to the east. I bet they're keeping it there. Go on. Full tummies for us equals fuller pockets for you. If you get my drift. Do I look like a cell sword do you? I'm gonna do it anyway. Have a couple drinks first though, boys. I don't think getting to drink the beer does anything. It doesn't apply any status effects. It's just funny. Thank you. those creatures for sale? Depends how much you're offering. The rock cobblers are really annoying. Um, but they don't really do much damage. Uh, they kind of do after a while. But... There is something over here that I'm probably going to want to get. There it is. Congratulations, sire. You have found a new domination spell. Nice. I love domination. Let's get you guys over there helping out too. And then we will go back and raid the Halfling Village. Let's get this, let's get this spell back first. I don't really use the spells much in Overlord, I like the fire spells. Um, the spells in the first game are 
I, I'm pretty sure the spells in the first game are the only game that has useful magic. The second game has like one or two spells where you like possess people um, using like lightning, if I remember correctly. Wasn't a fan of that, it's pretty stupid, but yeah. This game is a lot better than the rest of them. Overlord 2 is great though, it's great. The only one I haven't finished, there was one on the DS called Overlord Minions. I didn't finish that. I don't know, I just wasn't vibing with it. Slow. This spell will slow down advancing enemies, giving you more time to make them very dead. That actually is pretty useful, and I should take advantage of that. I like the fire spell just because it causes a lot of damage, I guess. I don't know. Ah, uh, but yeah, there was an Overlord game on the DS. There was one on the Wii called Dark Legend. I did finish that one. I finished it twice, actually. I really like that one. Um, and there's Overlord 1 and 2, and Raising Hell. This is Raising Hell, but. I don't think we're up to that part of the game just yet. Let's terrorize some halflings. The halflings are basically feral hobbits. Which it's a cool Looks concept. Like it's a cool concept. A party down there. We should hurry up, sire. Don't want to miss it. So the fat guy down there is the first boss of the game. We're gonna fight him soon. on looting and destroying everything. I think that's awesome. And you get gold, which is valuable. Not really right at the start of the game, because um, you can't really buy anything with gold until you start unlocking the rest of the tower. But better to stay stocked. able to fit your magnificent and imposing presence in through their lord. Can I help destroy them? There we go. Let's go into the halfling homes, terrorize them. Stop on some minions. To war. Best part about this level is just trashing the shit out of the halfing homes. You know, a, lot of, a lot of good stuff in here. Especially for this early on in the game. Tread lightly, Master, and make sure those halflings never wake up. What the hell? Let's 
there anything down here that I actually do need to get? No, I don't think there is. I must have just come down here for the loot. have not aged amazing. You can go away from the minions if they're doing something, and as you can see these guys are just doing their own thing as well. Um, but if you, I'm pretty sure if you get too far away from them, the game kind of freaks out a bit and the minions can't find you. And if they're lost for too long, they just automatically despawn. I don't know if they die or if they just go back to the spawning pit, but I don't like it either way. Cash money. Nice profit. Alright, let's continue on through the Halfling's home. Say they're going to serve us to Melvin. Oh, I don't want to be long. Shoo. I don't want to be long. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're hey, welcome. Those horror brought a load of food down here. You looking for it? Come on. Let's get back to yeah, sure. Spring. Let's take the food. I 
absolutely brutal that we're just killing them in their sleep. Damn. Life in the half thing must be rough. Hey, it's one of the spokes. Where did that guy go with the spoke? He must have taken it. It gets to a point where your minions uh, get too much like good equipment where they'll stop picking stuff up. Um, which it, it's feels like a waste, but at the end of the day, if they've already got it, they've already got it. If you find better stuff though, they will swap it out, which is useful. Let's get this spoke back over there. And then... We open something up down here, so let's go check that out. Minions bought that neat. Hey, it's the other wheel. I don't love the sweeping puzzles with the minions, they're kind of annoying. Quick, get up here, go, 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 move. He's wearing a rat on his head, that is absolutely feral. Good for him though. Live your best life. I should increase our minion cap. You can now control 15 minions. 15! That's double the number of brain cells in the average sheep. That's canon, scientific fact. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that one there and we'll pick up in the half of homes for the next episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys.